Well, I could certainly say I did not see this coming. Pete Carroll will no longer be the Seattle Seahawks head coach. The team announced Carroll will remain with the organization as an advisor. Let's be real. He was forced out. They made it sound really good as if he wanted to take on a new role upstairs. When they said he was out as the head coach, let's just call let's just call it what it is. He was fired. He was let go. Plain and simple. No other way to look at this. Now you can try to find any politer word to make it seem as if he wasn't booted out. But clearly, the Seahawks gave him the boot. They terminated him. They fired him. They wanted to clearly move on from him. You know what? It's been nice. We appreciate you for everything you've done. Thank you for everything you've done for our organization. But we no longer want you as our coach in the future. I think... Seattle is making a huge mistake moving on from Pete Carroll. I think you keep him as your head coach. It was a bad move to jettison one of the most successful coaches in franchise history. They're taking an L, forcing him to step down. You know, it, 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 it wasn't his decision to leave. It was what was in the best interest for the organization and clearly they felt it was time to go in a new direction without Coach Carroll. I don't think anybody in Seattle wanted him fired. So never did I think they would fire Carroll. I don't think anyone saw this coming. I don't think anyone anticipated for Carroll to be out of a job. Interesting Indeed, a, a very curious move. A new challenge with a new team would bring out the best in Carroll. I don't see him coaching anywhere else. I, I love the coach's overly enthusiastic, overly optimistic, rah-rah type of personality. I've always loved that about him, his style of coaching and philosophy. He was a good coach, and I always liked his excitement on the sidelines. So... I'm actually shocked they're getting rid of him. I wonder, though, if there's a coach, a college coach or an NFL coach they want to look at. A list of names. I, I doubt they'll get a name like Jim Harbaugh because Seattle is in quarterback purgatory. So I don't think you have a chance to land a guy like Jim Harbaugh now. I think Dan Quinn is your best bet because, look, Quinn is one of the most devout Carroll disciples in the NFL. It's easy to assume a divorce would be beneficial for the Seattle Seahawks as to why they chose to let Pete Carroll go. And you guys know how I feel about Pete Carroll. I deeply admire him, his work, and especially his unmatched passion, and authenticity. Carroll is a Super Bowl winning coach, but he hasn't coached like one in recent years. He did as well as you could hope for with what he had to work with, right? Uh, but, but look, the more I think about it now, the more I hate this move. Like, I really, really hate this move. I, I just feel it's a terrible move. Now, if we get an explanation, the choice will make sense in, hind in hindsight, right? But it won't ease the sudden finality for Seattle fans. This is a tough day, hard to understand. And to me, firing the head coach who made the Seahawks a relevant football team is a bad look to me. It, it's 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 to me it's a very bad look. This marks the end of a historic era in Seattle. 14 seasons, a Super Bowl win. It was a good run while it lasted.